guys, it's me and I, Jane. Today we're acting to season four, episode four of Legacies. Last week episode, I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. I already been reacting to Legacies on my old account before it was deleted. So thanks for all the newcomers and welcome back, people that already been here. Last week was an emotional episode. If you haven't seen my reaction by now, Hope officially became the full tribrid with the help of her aunt Freya. We pretty much got like a fucking reunion from everybody. We had Ralph within like five minutes of the episode. Freya, the last six to ten minutes of the episode. Elijah, Klaus, and Haley mentions in the middle throughout from Aunt Freya herself. We got to hear Hope's last heartbeat before she transitioned into a full tribrid. Well, attempted to before the bullshit happened. But we essentially got the biggest betrayal of them all. Caleb. Caleb, the one that was mad at Hope for using the Ascendant. The Caleb who said the Hope was successful landing. But then does the same shit. But this time, betrays his whole gang. Best friend MG snapped his, I mean, beat up MG, but MG just snapped Caleb's neck. But once again, we kind of seen this coming because Caleb has been doing betrayals since season one. Um, but honestly, he became an alert 2.0. And anything could have happened. You know, he was trying to, he was up... The lyrics ass in season two, I mean season three, with the I gotta make sure I make a lyric proud after he had you caged up with blood that we haven't seen get developed. Um, suddenly they gave you a Ripper storyline, which you know I wanted Ripper MG when you seem to be having fun, you seem to be fine with blood season one to then say fuck a lyrics rules. Let's handle this this way for a girl that bloop bloop. Don't even like you like that. You don't even know she likes you like that. She literally thought she got out of the prison world. I mean, she literally thought she got out of the AKA Mile War. And the first thing that was on her mind was hope. She didn't ask about you. You're the last thing on her mind right now when it comes to survival and Mile War. Let alone that I already knew this obsession was going to come because Caleb literally went to Cleo in 213. I mean, 313 after literally finding out. That he stabbed the shit, that she stabbed the shit out of Hope and was going to proceed to kill her. And he didn't blink once when it came to giving her a chance. And she only opened up to him once. And he barely opened up to her. And I understand he don't want to lose somebody, you know, because he trusted somebody and lost them. But homeboy Skillet Biscuit, she don't even know you. Do you even know about Leonardo da Vinci? Probably not, because the way she was talking about him to Milo Landon in 402, you were the last boy on her mind. She literally, if he would came back, she would have dropped your ass. Matter of fact, you're not even picked up. So you went to Malivore to try to give try to try to get Cleo, which was the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Because why would Malivore get you give you Cleo? He don't want hope. He wants hope out of his way. He would rather want her dead, but he doesn't want to become a tribrid. Why the fuck would he want her? He's been looking for Cleo since season three. Why would he give her up when he got her already in his possession who can give him inspiration at his free will? Are you dense or are you clueless? You thought he was going to give her away when because you was going to give her um him hope? And then you bring in hope to him when she's already in tribal form. So that's a clam move on your behalf, let alone... That Malavor has control of you, basically. So he's kind of making you do things against his, your will anyway. So I just want to know, how will Cleo react when her real goal was to save Hope? And you brought Hope to the biggest enemy of the school. You brought, as you like to say, the most powerful weapon to the biggest monster that has to man. I'm telling you right now, the way that they treated MG with the Ascendant, the way that they treated Hope when it comes to the um, 308, I better see Caleb getting the same fucking work. But knowing legacies, everyone forgets things in one episode. And especially when nobody's reacting to the betrayal he just did, mind boggling. Anyways, let's dive in. Now I have asked her to tap on him. Yeah, sorry, I didn't bring any money. <laughs> what? Her soul? The necklace? Damn, we gonna lose it again? 
Ah, oh, damn. Sam. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, how can I run this motherfucker? The afterlife without the necromancer butting in. I'm afraid this is no game. <sighs> My God, I will never know peace. They hate me. I swear they do. Look at this I'm not shit. Interested. Neither were we. Not until we experienced the transformative miracle that we're here to talk to you about. Caleb is also Jewish. <laughs> they collect an army? Share. They make an army. You mind if we leave you a little something behind first? And what is this? Smile over goo? This? Hallelujah. On to the next house. And the way to bring back Landon and Cleo. Malvor is trying to split us up. He used to see Make me. us fight on multiple fronts. Then which one's it gonna be? Like you just had your plan behind my yeah, back. Yeah, you have no choice. Save the day. You have no choice. So why don't we just skip that first part this time around? Oh, love to see that. For once. I can't. Why? He won't accept anything I have to offer. Then why is he willing to accept me? What scares me? Yeah. You know, when we first met, you told me that my father would never find peace until I did. Mmm. Dang love. I don't know how you remember that. Is that Landon? <gasps> and we getting flashbacks. Oh my. Okay. His trauma, please. She found him. She found him. She found him. Found him. Found him. We love to see it. Yes. In the closet. In the closet. My boy, my boy deserves the world. If oh, we love your life, so do best. Take the easy way out and go to peace. If my mother, father, or uncle pass by, tell them not to wait for me. What? 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 Oh shit! <gasps> not the traper. Golly. To the land of the living. I get used to it. Uh, okay, boo. Try me. You won't be living. You won't be living, my lord. Like, did you sit here and literally wait for her to wake up? You thought you ate? Give me that fucking plate. You really thought you ate? <laughs> Give me that fucking plate. Sir, you got Ethan and Caleb out here conjuring you up monsters. Like, Though I'm happy that Jed and them found out fastly instead of, you know how those shows be like, I wonder where Caleb went. Listen, you know where he's at. I just need another plan. Um, I did ask her Hope was going to give that necklace away. Um, she did and she just took a dip in the water, which means that they're obviously not going to bring up this whole Ted thing. Um, they, we will never know peace with Ted. Ted's going to probably come back right now for sure. So he's going to come back. Is, we, is, is Hope going to end up helping him some way, somehow? Be able to finally find peace because he's clearly in a limbo and if anything i feel like this episode i hope is going to definitely have to kill landon which is why she, in the next episode which will definitely be a couple weeks to a couple months time jump she will probably be on alone either with humanity or without humanity because once again she's still to be the vampire so she did have probably kill landon dipped her emotions are heightened and still aren't in focus and i mean once again it just depends i feel like her emotions are definitely heightened so she's gonna be taking this shit very severe she's gonna really set the love of her life so she's gonna be taking this shit severe she's gonna leave because she thinks land is dead obviously land is probably not dead he's probably somewhere but maybe they'll find out something because it says lizzie and joel are going to be dealing with something in episode 406 clearly by 406 we can clearly determine that hope is still not at the school because cleo now will be looking for her which means that they probably found out something about Landon by then. And for or five, um, um, Rebecca's gonna be looking for her. So we're gonna be seeing help away from the Tower Throw School, which means that's just, that's where her break from Landon comes from. Let's continue. Vampire powers, they're on it, isn't it? You become the tribe and you're more vulnerable than ever. This is until I feed. What if you don't feed? God damn! You showed me how to kill you. God! Gonna take home. We already know, bitch! Not the, not the, damn, they got a few. Oh my god, they got a few motherfuckers. They was racking up. Sir, because I told you last time. Jed is hilarious. I actually need you and Wade to be my last line of defense. Support. Oh. Just for today. Mm. Cleo enchanted this with a muting spell. So if what I'm doing goes wrong, I need you to light it so I can't speak. Oh, meeting crumbles. I've done enough of that already. 
methane crumbles. He said, don't hurt him. Y'all hear that? I'll take the crumbles and leave. You ain't got to hit it for me. Hey, partner. Fuck, see? Methane crumbles, hold up. Damn, he got the school on lockdown. Lizzie just left. Emergency. Emergency? He thought you ate. To the train depot. That up. He's yours? Did I hear what the I fuck? <laughs> He's I mine. How you told me the truth about what you about to do? <gasps> Invisible? Oh! You bitch. Landed. Which is? Look at Landon. Yeah. He tricked me. Fuck! See, he knows. Well, we have to find a way out. Look at how fancy he asking. Five or six, I've seen what Malavoy is capable of creating. Oh! Now Landon, now Landon looking confused. Oh! Damn, she about to feed on somebody real quick. Somebody about to get took. <laughs> Fuck around, she might help Alaric. I think she helps Alaric, right? Because that's why Alaric is sitting down. She did ask the Chibre. That's my little word. It can be. Don't even go in there for him. He got that shit locked in. Oh, Alaric, that's the baddest thing you could be doing right now. Because hold my blood. Like, I smell fresh, lovely type A. <laughs> so they, oh, Cleo and Landon are finally together. And Cleo, Cleo obviously found a, um, a way to get out. And plus his mouth was not really worrying about what's in him. He's worrying about everybody outside of him since he's frantically panicking because hoping they're on a full tribird. And he can't wait fucking years for that damn tree to grow. Which means that they will technically, when he is dead, nobody really will know about the tree and stuff for hoping him, right? So while there he's worrying about the army, hope, and everything, Cleo and Landon are gonna be finding a way out. Landon now knows that, you know, there's obviously something that can destroy her. And now he's like, fuck, damn, something can destroy her too. I just said that she was a unicorn, indestructible tribrid, and yeah, she's there's a fucking tree being made as we speak. That motherfucker is getting drenched on by her. not really raining, but that shit that shit blooming. It's gonna take years though, so uh huh, steaks. <gasps> All the powers you could have given him, you picked the real coward new one. Period. You, you gotta fight this. Sir, please. Sir, please. <gasps> Woo -wee. Okay. Lizzie. We know. I mean, I, we've been there. Get that bitch! Damn, is she making go to sleep, low key? He's not breathing. He's not breathing. Woo! Yeah, he must be. Boo! Is this what takes it? Is this really what takes it? The first time. Clown and clowned it. Oh, before you make a weird face and go, Malivore? Yes, it's me. <laughs> Malivore learned how to talk and start going crazy. No one will ever remember your students. Once the tribe is dead and I've consumed them all. Them all? But I won't consume you. Oh! Oh, shit! She stabbed his ass. <laughs> Dragon, soft spot. Damn, she, not her pet. Somebody give her some blood now. I thought you would get her out. Look, did you know? Hi, <laughs> frantic. That trailer part. Then I, I said it earlier today. He had to be panicking. Them motherfucker panicking, shivering his boots. God damn. What the hell was that? If I had to guess. Oh, jealousy. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck? Did he just die some hands? Oh, Finch, get the, get the candle, get the candle, get the candle, get the candle. Damn. Damn, the candle! Not help. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, come on, boo. Take that risk. Oh. God damn! Yes! Her eyes! Her eyes! Her eyes! Her eyes! We won! Turn up! Come on! Come on! Come on now! Not the sky turning real when this bitch start drinking! Like oh, you don't know. I'm sorry. Yes! 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 You're done! You're done, bitch! You're done! You're done! Nah, it's come back together. Um, the demon came out. <sighs> I've waited. <laughs> I 
I've waited seasons for this shit. Shout it out. Seasons. And this bitch looks phenomenal. Danielle, you ate. <laughs> I know I said it a lot. But you are demolishing this shit already. And we only got like three to four seconds of full tribal hope. Baby. The eyes. The teeth. The fangs. The fucking. The eyes. The blood. The fact that the fucking sky turned red. Thundering lightning in an instant. This bitch is that powerful. <laughs> there is nothing on the planet. There's nothing gonna play like a top of her. Are you kidding? I can't. I just. You see how scared my over looked? Like, motherfucker, you thought she was just. You thought they were having a moment of a, of a neck caress? Nah. She was getting that blood to beat that ass. You thought she was getting somewhere? No back talk? It's quiet. Ain't no back talk. There's nothing safe about what's gonna happen here. Mmm. Nothing safe is gonna happen here. You gotta be. You gotta be shit making something over. Come on. Come on. What you gonna do with that fucking chain in her? I hate monsters like you. That's cool. There is no monster like you. We know she's gonna say that line. Oh, now Okay, we want to see Danielle and Arya eat. Look at the fucking speed, bitch! Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, oh my god! Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You haven't even seen my wolf form yet. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Cause we haven't seen her wolf form in a minute. Yeah. Oh shit! Now I'm coming alive. He said, "Wake up." Hell no. Hell no! Because until you're ready for that, I'll have your dark side for you. Oh, girl, not that! Yes, get on it, get on it, get on it, get on it. Not the kids bringing her back to. Ooh, get up, get off your feet, get on your fucking feet now. Me back. Damn. Yo, <laughs> yo, hope is got him in shambles right now. It's right. the full Trevor tour. Mm. <laughs> Not the tour. She gonna make that to a fucking sword. What you about to do? Look at him. He is. <laughs> it's a sword. No. 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 Are you alright? No. Landon. <laughs> <laughs> I order my groceries online now. Jingles doesn't care. I keep my social distance. Jingles doesn't care. Now I'm about to sit here and watch Hope kill Landon Landon. Well, not yeah. Malibu knew what he was doing. Not only did he play the game, but that bitch is scared. He decided to go and get Landon. And even though he called Landon out, I'm gonna see what this scene gives me because I might just go to war. I might just go to war. I'm gonna need one. <gasps> I hit that gas! Our bitch! We won! We won! This for this one. To kiss you, to breathe the same air is. Oh my god! Those things have been all that's kept me going this whole time. I you have to try, Yeah, well, kinda eight. Kinda eight. know where the fuck he's going. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't care. You're not getting nowhere, bitch. See? You should have ate your fucking crumbles. No, uh. I won't. Not if I have to look into your eyes when I do it. Then close them. Duh! Not close your eyes, part two, bitch. Look, this is exactly what I'm gonna miss the way you make me laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna miss all of it. And I wouldn't trade a second even if <laughs> I love you, Landon. <laughs> I always will. I'll never know peace. I'll never know peace. Forever. I'll never know peace. 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 I'll never know peace.
fucking do this? Die with me. What magic is this? It is a squat thing. <clears throat> Bye, bitch. Like, I just cannot play this. Like, my son is dead. <laughs> Season one, we have with angst, Malivore. Season two, hope she had to jump to Malivore, memories erased. Then he becomes a, he, he gets Phoenix powers, loses, dies. Season three, a ghost. Then this whole time, they have one chance of happiness, he becomes Malivore. Then he becomes Malivore, not like he wanted to. Kept getting teased by several fucking Landons, get landing back to have our last kiss, the last I love yous, before he has to die. I've been, I've shipped a lot of ships in my life, several hundreds, but I've never dealt with so much sick shit in my life that every time I have to just know that Handons will never fuck it, no peace. Put this shit on my tombstone, Handon kills me every fucking week, I just, I, it's, it's a fucking fighting battle, it's a, it's a battle of how much you want to cry. You know what, I'm tired. What if this was my last straw? I figured I'd ask him about enrolling. Wow! Meet the grumbles, meet the grumbles, meet the grumbles! Damn, she about to have a whole lot of triangle with this with these with them. Oh! <laughs> Not shutting the door. Oh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Not the shoes! Oh my god, look how happy they are though. Can y'all shut the fuck up? The fucking fireworks! Oh, bitch. Oh, yeah, we know. Love. Yep, love. Stupid things. For sure. Right. You, what you said that the whole. Okay. Why didn't you turn it off? Mmm. She turned it off. I told you. Isn't it? <laughs> we love that. We love that. We love that. <laughs> we love that. Oh, she about to threaten him? Oh! <laughs> this bitch! Always winning! Hold on. You're Alara Sultan's daughter? I'm afraid I have some bad news. Bad news? If she was here right now, I would kill her. Where's Hope? She's an apex predator. Nobody hunts me. Oh, Rebecca! Supergirl two-hour series finale event. Now Rebecca Paul. I was right. <laughs> we won! Oprah, we won! We got no humanity hope. I literally said, we're gonna get no humanity hope. Why would we not get no humanity hope? Once she killed Landon, she literally turned that shit off. Literally, 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 literally turned that shit off. Her love for Landon is so strong. I'm standing right the fuck up. Let's go. Not only did we get an in-game soul made of it with Landon. Her love for him so fucking strong. She didn't even let the body hit the ground before she turned the humanity off. God bless the yes! What's the still Get the fuck out of my way. This is a grown woman talking. We got Finzi first sex scene? What the fuck? Immaculate flavor. Not only did Josie... Really slay this episode. My good sis had dark magic on go, and dark Georgie got snapped down by Finch. Finch said, Listen, I can love that too. Come on, give me lips. Then you got Finch have some she got darkness. We gonna eat into that. We gonna eat into that. We gonna get into that in the season. Come on. 
thought we were going to get an I Love You confession, but it was kind of insinuated for the third time. Take it in. She said, we're going to clean that saw in the morning. When she shut that door, I kid you not, I didn't know what to expect. My good sis, first in season three, the fucking lights in the Mystic Fall school shivered. She made the fucking saw become fireworks without even trying. Finch eyes glint. Y'all motherfuckers on me, okay? Y'all motherfuckers on me. Not nothing else. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all sneak up on me like a combo. I already feel like Lizzie, Ethan, and MG, Meath and Z, gonna have a little triangle. Because even MG said, which boy you talking about? So we'll have to see with that. Clearly, I, like I said in my life, I said all the shit Kayla been doing, he just better win the girl. He did. But I'm confused. Did I mean that Cleo love him too? Because she didn't mention him in my world. She was talking about Leonardo da Vinci. So, I was about to say Leonardo DiCaprio. Let me stop. I don't give a fuck. This episode, top top three. Whole seat of the whole day. All the seasons come on. Top three. The hand of reunion. The best fucking reunion I've ever seen in my life. Get off my back. Get off my back. Get off my back. I don't care. Not only did he said that she was what kept him going in the fucking darkness while he was in the fucking closet and they finally explored his trauma again. She said that she'll, she'll always love him forever. And he said he'll love her forever. He already knew she was a fucking tribe bitch. Who? Anyways, no humanity hope. I called it out. What you mean? That's why she killing. She even threatened her friends, B. We got that shit easy. Now imagine if we get heretic. No Humanity Lizzie and No Humanity Hope, we won't feast. Anyway, that was my season four episode for Reaction to Legacies. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more legacy reactions. My Twitter and Discord link in the description so we can talk more about that. See me freaking out on Discord, Twitter, I don't know. Till next time, make sure to be safe. Peace.